here with another edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. I'm Jason Dackman, Chief Editor at SVG, and here with a very good friend, longtime member of SVG, Mike Flathers, Signet Chief Solutions Officer. Mike, how are you? Great to see you, and uh, where are you calling us from today? Great, Jason. I'm uh, here in, at my home in uh, uh, Salt Lake City, Utah area, actually a little city called Alpine, so kind of right up against the mountains here uh, on what's looking to be a gorgeous day after a bit of rain, so very happy to be here. Thank you. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Well, Signian, uh, obviously very busy right now. Uh, we've seen the industry undergo some pretty dramatic transformations as a result of the pandemic. Trends that were already happening were accelerated you know, three, four times over. Um, and Signiant obviously has played a big role in that. So I'm curious from your perspective, especially considering your many years in the industry, you've been a part of a lot of really important projects on the sports production and sports media side. Um, you know, how are you seeing uh, companies adapt some of these more powerful media services from cloud providers, whether it be startups or some of the traditional big tech, uh, big tech guys? Yeah, it's interesting because, you know, we, we look at what's happened uh, in the industry and there, there, at first it was, you know, we had people saying, oh, no, cloud can't be secure, you know, and, and as we all know that that's largely been overcome. Then there's, uh, there are things like, uh, well, we're, we're just going to make a, a transition to cloud, so we're going to move everything in the cloud. And, you know, I think that proved to be uh, a, a little a little challenging as well, not just from a, the standpoint of, uh, you know, getting content there in the cloud, but the reality is you need to deal with, even in the cloud, content, you know, exists in multiple locations, multiple regions and such, multiple clouds. And then you always have an on-premise aspect as well. So um, I, I, I guess I would say, you know, kind of the, some of the early phases were maybe more of a little bit of, you know, getting to know the cloud a, a, a bit. And then um, all the, the standard services that we've come to know and love. A lot of the cloud providers themselves have, have uh, really, uh, you know, started provided in a good way. Things like, you know, transcoding, you know, uh, simple file transfer, of course, you know, where a, a company like Signet comes in is to help with, you know, accelerated, uh, you know, transfer, but then distribute things like, you know, distribution and uh, a lot of internal services are allowing us to kind of, you know, do more and more. But 2020, of course, brought, um, you know, you know I think I've said it before, even on SVG talks, maybe a couple of them is, you know, forced innovation, I like to call it, right? So, so things, things started happening. And so that that intersection between cloud and on-premise has always been something that's intrigued me. And I think we're really in, a, in an interesting state uh, there. And it, it, everyone's come to realize that, hey, we need to solve the problem of inner cloud, uh, within the cloud, and, um, you know, on-premise and cloud. Sure. So as people have moved into some of these, you know, hybrid environments, leveraging both the cloud and, and on-prem uh, facilities, you know, one of the big problems is that, uh, you know, the industry is just moving so quickly, right? And there's so many changes happening so fast, especially during this forced innovation period of the pandemic. So I'm curious from your perspective, how do you think media companies, especially in the sports world, can leverage all this great new technology that is offering all these cool new services, but also quickly and be able to keep up with the times? Yeah, good question. I, you know, part partnerships are key here. I think, and I, I think uh, again, if twenty twenty did anything, it, it actually um, forced vendors to come together, perhaps in a more collaborative way. And and actually, you know, we're finding more and more that our customers are really more more partners instead of a customer vendor relationship. We have this partnership relationship. I've always, you know, ha, you know, uh, like those kind of relationships, and and have tried to work in that fashion, but. But, um, you know, speed became, you know, super important and continues to be important. I don't think things are going to change. I think we're going to continue to roll forward, in, you know, in that fashion. You know, we're seeing a lot of really interesting technologies that are helping out, some of which, um, you know, are, are very interesting, of course, outside of what, you know, what Signian does and what we're involved with. Um, but, you know, then there's also, I've uh, seen a, a, you know, a, uh, a surge in, you know, people interested in things like local object storage, for example, that we see that being deployed. Um, you know, we see uh, people trying to bridge the gap, companies trying to bridge the gap, some smaller, some larger uh, between, you know, block storage and object storage and all of allowing, you know, uh, object storage to act, whether it be public cloud or local to act 
as if it's um, kind of local storage kind of things. There's some really fun and interesting things that are that are out there. But like I said, I think the key to speed is that collaboration. So we don't have uh, as much of that. Oh, I thought that's what you needed. Now we got to go back and rework it. You know, kind of thing. Instead, start up front with that that collaboration. Very cool. So let's talk about how Signia plays into all that. Um, you know, as this has become more of a collaborative process, as um, you know, end users are looking to create sort of a best of breed uh, mix of products, right? Um, that that can take advantage of all the best aspects of different pieces of the ecosystem. Um, I know that Signia and SaaS platform obviously uh, presents an opportunity to uh, to you know make these things work together. So tell us a little bit about how that can happen. Yeah, yeah. So fortunately, with uh, our our SaaS products, uh, you know, namely uh, Media Shuttle Jet, and we have something called Flight Deck as well, um, and then of course our, our our managers and agents, you know, products as well um, have been there and been mainstays in the industry for quite a while. But but what it's it's interesting and, and I think a very good move by Signet uh, made you know, early on with the SaaS offerings is to really you know, isolate the storage from the, the platform itself. So Signet does not, we don't sell storage, right? We have more of a customer, you know, bring your own uh, storage model, which is, has served us well, but it also allows us um, to create uh, that software we call SDCX, Software Defined Content Exchange. We have a server piece of software um, that actually sits next to storage and so that was kind of part of the architecture from the beginning to, to actually allow for, for that to be distributed. And what it's allowing for us to do is actually have um, you ha ha provide additional services, you know, alongside of that storage. So it's not just about move, file movement, you know, for us anymore. It's, it's we've kind of used the term, you know, beyond, you know, file movement. But but there was a, uh, we made an acquisition recently, a company called Less Pain that you're aware of. Um, and they have uh, uh, this media engine that was part of, uh, part of what they had built. And so we, you know, we're, we're leveraging that not only the people, but the technology that we acquired to add more and more of those services. And, um, uh, and I think you're going to see some very interesting things you know, out there that are going to allow us to actually, um, you know, act on the media, or query the media, act on the media um, in ways that users may, may find inter interesting, including things like, you know, hey, show me, you know, tell me where this file exists, right? You know, sure. uh, kind of thing, kind of that, kind of that, uh, you know, global kind of search capability at your storage endpoints. And then yeah. you know, I think you'll see other services come about as well the, the, at the edge there. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, things are going to continue to grow and you know, you, you talked about how collaboration is just so important, whether it be vendor to vendor or vendor to customer or multi-vendor to multi-customer. Um, and you are heading up a new uh, team over at Signia that is focusing on that, how to, you know, bring that glue together, how to bring some of these pieces together. So tell us a little bit about uh, what your team is trying to accomplish over there. Yeah, so as Chief Solutions Officer here at Signia, uh, I, we have a, a team focused on on solutions, and it's a very you know on the ground you know type of type of team. Um, you know, we work very very closely with customers, very closely with partners, We're responsible for um, you know uh, bringing forth the right you know APIs. Um, and the right integration capabilities, but also helping people, you know, leverage the full full stack products as well. But um, and then, you know, in addition to that, kind of looking at how what are the building blocks that we have within that full stack, you know, product? Well, how can we be? How can our product be a building block for other types of for for solutions? Um, we're working with partners and vendors, and how can we tie things together? So we see, you know, integration is as being key uh, to our success going forward, and uh, you know, so that's really it's really more. Or it's really, I would say, kind of an outside in look, you know, working with right. partners and customers, bringing technology in rather than us pushing, solely pushing technology out. So it's an exciting uh, team, exciting time and, you know, great support internally for it. And, you know, something that, that as you know, that I've always enjoyed uh, doing. So I've got a great team of people and, you know, growing the team and it's, it's, it's really uh, been nice. Well, it'd be really cool to see how you guys continue to expand those partnerships and build APIs and integrations with other technologies that create 
whole new ecosystems that maybe we weren't even thinking about a few years ago. Um, and, and like you said, the forced innovation has created this ability uh, and to, to make vendors work together. And that's, uh, that's creating some really exciting things. So Mike, uh, definitely stay in touch. Let us know as things uh, come down the line and hopefully we get to see each other in person soon. But uh, for now, stay safe and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Jason. Stay tuned. Uh, some of the things that I uh, mentioned, I think you'll, you'll, you'll be seeing coming about uh, fairly soon and is really, really, really interesting and a lot of fun. And thank you so much for being a great host as always. We'll keep an eye out. Thanks again, Mike. Thank you. All right.